now we have this dividends uh, that are paid in the form of property. So rather than distributing cash here, we're going to distribute property. I give you some information. Um, oftentimes that property that's distributed is some kind of a investment in another company, um, just because that's a relatively easy thing to split. Um, it would be hard to dividend out your furniture because you'd run out of furniture before you had settled with all of your shareholders, right? So uh, you, if it's something that's going to be a property dividend, if it's actually going to be sent as the property, it has to be something that's divisible. Okay, so um, we're going to look at this dividend of its investment in um, Google stock. Uh, it looks very similar to that last problem, and we have a declaration date. It's payable on a certain date to shareholders of record. Um, the declaration date, I guess we didn't really identify, but let's say that it was, oh no, we did April 1st. Yep, 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 yep. We didn't actually say what happens on the date of payment. It'd have to be after, I guess, the date of record. The book value is two hundred thousand. The fair value is three hundred thousand, and the fair value at the payment date was three hundred fifty. So this um, slide really kind of walks you through what you need to do. If the property dividend is declared, there is no cash. That's a key to remember. Common place where students might make a mistake. Instead, the fair value of the property is recognized as the amount of the dividend. So we need immediately. We need to see what the fair value is. That's what we're makes sense because that's what we're giving our shareholders. We would give them the fair, the, whatever that asset is worth is what we're giving away. So we're giving away the fair value of that Google stock. So my question there was, what is the fair value? That's just looking up to the problem. And if you looked up in the problem, you would see, oh, that is 300,000. There's the fair value. What is the book value? Something you would grab from the general ledger, right? 200000 Item number three tells you if there's a difference between the book value and the fair value, um, you have to do a journal entry to adjust to the fair value. And that journal entry is going to be very straightforward. It's going to increase the asset and um, or decrease the asset account, and the other side is going to be a gain or a loss that goes through the income statement. Most likely it's going to be a gain, right? Because you, you're dividending this out to the shareholders. So, I mean, I just think in practice you probably don't send them losers. So, uh, question number three, I said, you know, come up with an entry for um, adjusting that fair value. So, if you wanted to adjust the fair value of the Google stock, it would be simply a matter of debiting that investment account, and this could be the name of it, investment in Google, and the book value is 200, the fair value is 300, so we need to up that book value by 100 so that it equals the fair value. The other side of that entry is going to be a gain on, um, it's like an appreciation gain, I guess, on the stock that we've been holding that goes through the income statement, FYI. And so um, once we've done that, um, we can record the declaration, uh, the entry just like we did a while ago. So here we would have a um, property dividend. Or again, you could have used retained earnings for your debit, and we would have a credit to property dividends payable and the amount is for the fair value of the asset recognizing that this is the value that we are fair giving out to our Shareholders. I mean, the analogy is if we were giving them stock, it would be the value of, the, I mean, giving them cash, we would give them the value cash. So, um, again, we're not going to do anything on the date of record. So, the answer there is no, no, J-E, 
there. And then on the date that we actually uh, distribute on the payment date, again, we would um, we're going to debit property dividends payable. And we're going to credit the asset. Okay, so we're actually giving out the asset. Be very careful. Very common mistake is to credit cash here. And the whole point is we're not using cash. We're using a different asset. Okay, so we set up that liability for $300,000, and that is what we're going to distribute. So you notice we did not do anything with that additional information about the fair value changing. Um, we don't worry about that. We're just going to use the value that we set up as a dividend payable for that dividend. So, yes, the shareholders got something that was of more value, but our obligation was based on the $300,000. All right, there we go. That's property dividend. So you have this one in your project. You basically are going to need entries like this. I think in your project you have a short-term investment account or some marketable investment account you could use. If you didn't want to um, have to buy another asset, you can just refer and say part of that account includes an investment in blah, 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 something like that. All righty. Okay.